Going into the Berlin Marathon, Kenyan marathoner and world record holder Iliad Kipchoga had set his sight on a new course record. Dreams, they say, are a dime a dozen, that anyone could have them. But absolutely no one questioned this man when he made that statement. We all knew he could do it. In this video, we'll follow his journey into the event and how everything went down. So, let's begin. A look at the athlete's profile. The 37-year-old, highly decorated Kenyan international athlete sure looks like someone destined for great things in distance running. Taking a look at the honors he had received over his career, a two-time Olympic champion, one-time world champion, one-time Olympic Games silver medalist, and one-time world championships silver medalist, with silver medals in Commonwealth and World Athletic Finals, among many others. He went into the Berlin Marathon as the reigning world record holder in the track event. He's ranked number one in the men's marathon, a position he's held for 83 weeks. He has also once been the highest ranked athlete in the men's overall ranking, a position he's held for 20 weeks, but he's currently ranked 7th. His all-time personal best record going into the 2022 Berlin Marathon was 2 hours, 1 minute, and 39 seconds world record-breaking run at the 2018 Marathon at the same venue in Germany. His other top two personal bests came in the 2019 London, where he completed the race in 2 hours, 2 minutes, and 37 seconds, and the 2022 Marathon that took place in Tokyo, Japan, where it took him 3 extra seconds more than it did in the London run. Progression of Men's World Records It was in 1896 that the first ever marathon race was held, and the distance wasn't standardized by the International Association of Athletics Federation, IAAF, until 1921. The pre-1921 distances weren't that different from the ones we have now anyway, as they only slightly varied from the 42.195 kilometers required, equivalent to 26 miles, 385 yards. The fastest of the runners used to spend over three hours completing the race. The finish time gradually shortened over the years, and the 1988 Rotterdam Marathon saw Belena Densamo of Ethiopia finish in a record time of 2 hours 6 minutes 50 seconds. Ronaldo da Costa of Brazil broke his record that same year at the Berlin Marathon with a 44 second gap. Khalid Kanucci of Morocco pushed the bar higher when he completed his run in a record time of 2 hours 5 minutes 5 seconds at the 1999 Chicago Marathon. Khalid then again broke his personal and world record at the 2002 London Marathon by 4 seconds. Paul Turgot of Kenya, Haley Gibra Selassie from Ethiopia, Patrick Macau, Wilson Kipsang, and Dennis Kameto, all from Kenya, were the most recent world record breakers before their countrymen. Iliad Kipchoga raised the bar further at the Berlin 2018 Marathon when he finished his run in a record time of 2 hours, 1 minute, and 39 seconds, with a pace of 4 minutes, 38.4 seconds per mile. Kipchoga's goal going into the Berlin Marathon. The Berlin Marathon is known to be one of the fastest marathons, and 37-year-old Iliad Kipchoga had his sights set on a fourth victory at the track event. His last competitive outing had been in the Tokyo Marathon earlier in March, where he ran the fourth quickest time in history. Kipchoge's debut on the international stage happened on the shores of Germany during the 2013 Berlin Marathon. He won on the same stage in 2015, 2017, and in that world-breaking 2018 run. Ethiopia has produced fine athletes over the years, and Ethiopia's great Haley Geber Selassie has won in Berlin for a record four times. Kipchoge then had his eyes on equaling his achievement by winning at Berlin for a fourth time as well. The double Olympic champion became just the third person ever to defend an Olympic marathon title, and he made his intentions very clear when he said he wanted more. He said if he had been asked if breaking the world record was possible back then in 2013, before he came on the international stage, he would have seen it as a crazy dream. But upon missing out just by eight seconds, he suddenly became a believer. Kipchoge believed that Berlin is the fastest course, the stage where one can showcase his potential to push the limits, and that even if he would not be breaking his own record, he strongly believed he could still run a course record. This belief was further strengthened by Kipchoge's friends and family, who supported his decision to attempt the record in Berlin. His coach, Patrick Sang, also chimed in, telling media that he believed Kipchoge could break the world record in Berlin. The Berlin Marathon The 2022 Berlin Marathon was the 48th of its kind. The annual marathon race, which takes place in Berlin, is an elite platinum label marathon that has featured over 40,000 runners from over 157 countries. Berlin has had a firm grip on the men's world record since 2003, being the stage upon which seven of the previous world records had been broken. It has also produced three breakthroughs in the women's category since 1977. It is no surprise when athletes hold this competition in high regard. The race was founded in 1974 by Horst Milda, a Berlin baker who combined his passion for running with his family's baking business. His first marathon had 244 finishers, with only 10 of them being women. The winner finished in a modest 2 hours, 44 minutes, and 53 seconds on the men's side, while the first woman that crossed the finish line on her own side took 3 hours, 22 minutes, and 1 second. Since then, the race has become one of the most popular marathons in Europe, with over 40,000 runners taking part each 
year. How did the 2022 marathon go down? The 48th edition took place on 25th September and had a number of high-profile athletes participating. The men's field this year attracted elite athletes like defending champion Guille Adola, 2015 world marathon champion Gurme Gerbeslasi, Dajin Dabela, and Mark Career, among others. Kenyan runner and marathon world record holder Elliot Kipchoga entered the race as the clear favorite. With the aim of running a fast first half, Kipchoga started with a blistering pace that only a few of the other runners could keep up with. Ethiopian runners Adam Belahu and Giedola were the ones in the leading position alongside Kipchoga. It took the leaders 28 minutes and 23 seconds to cross the 10 kilometers mark. Adola then began to fall behind when they were about 14 kilometers into the race. Kipchoga, Belahu, as well as the other pacemakers reached the 15 kilometer mark in 42 minutes 32 seconds, which made people start speculating whether Kipchoga could complete the race in under two hours. The runners also took 59 minutes 51 seconds to pass the halfway point, a time 96 seconds shorter than what it took Kipchoga to complete the first half of his 2018 record-breaking run. The last pacemaker fell behind the group around 25 kilometers, and Belahu himself started falling back around two kilometers later. By the time Kipchoga was only two kilometers from the finish line, his lead on the record-breaking performance had dropped to 36 seconds, but he managed to finish in a sprint. Elliot Kipchoga smashes the marathon world record. Kipchoga ended up finishing the race at the 22 BMW Berlin Marathon in two hours, one minute, and nine seconds, slicing half a minute from his own personal and world best from 2018. Just when it seemed he had achieved everything possible over the classic distance, the legend went ahead to push the world record further out of reach of the rest in the distance running world. In the post-race interview, he looked as though he could go on for several more miles, but his joy could not be hidden. He had set out to do it, and no one actually doubted his ability to do it. Unlike the previous occasion when he achieved a similar feat by shattering the world record, he went out hard this time. He made a statement of intent before the race and similarly approached the race with a blistering start in the first few kilometers. He said he started believing it possible after 38 kilometers into the race and that listening to the crowd while running, something that he particularly loves, energizes and keeps his fuel burning. A happy Kipchoga thanked the fans and his team for inspiring him, but didn't fail to mention the hard work he, too, had put into it. The win made him the second runner to have won at Berlin for a record four times. Now for other related news. Kipchoga, who arrived at Kenya Airways alongside newly crowned London Marathon champion Amos Caputo and Jocelyn Jepkoskai, who finished in second place in the women's race, was well received by the staff at Kenya Airways. He was seen smiling brightly in a picture he took with them, claiming that their flight from London was a flight of champions. And when asked about his plans to go forward, he calmly replied that he's a believer in setting one goal at a time. And after that amazing feat at Berlin, he plans to take some time to enjoy it and take it all in. The champion said he still has more in him and that he has great hopes for his future. Kipchoge is definitely not one to rest on his oars. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, kindly give it a like. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel.